The Teaching Service Commission says it is the role of the National and Provincial Education Board to inform teachers of their appointments before the closing of each academic year. The Commission said it does not have direct control over the management and operations of teachers in the country. Sheila Malkin has more. NBC Radio, Teaching Service Commission Policy Commissioner Samson Wangiomi says they only step in if the administration of schools break laws within the Education or the Teaching Service Act. We do assist if the department requires and says, look, we need help here. Can you be part of the investigation or things? Yeah, we, we do assist, but we don't make the decisions uh, in, the, in the management and the, the running of the institutions. Some teachers are now waiting for their posting and appointments before they can resume class. Twenty authorities are still. I mean, NB is, is is good because there are uh, uh, not many institutions, but the provincial education institutions, the the provincial institution, it's bad. Teachers are still fronting up, wanting to know where they're going, and you know, it's not the teacher's fault. It's very, you know, it's the operating authorities' fault as well. Oh. However, Teaching Service Commission Chairman Baran Sori says the Education Authority have been empowered in provinces to exercise certain powers and function of the Commission. Uh, and we trust that they, they exercise those powers with caution to ensure there is proper appointments made, particularly appointment decisions made that, um, that by merit, so the teachers are happy to take our appointments. Mm. Sorry says if teachers' appointments are done on merit, salaries and allowances that are attracted to the position are paid, there would be no issues. However, if that has been the case, the Education Authority have to sort it out. Sheila Malkin, NBC National News, Port Moresby.